Hey friends, welcome to FX Yogi. In today's video, let's learn role reversal. How to use pivot points to trade breakouts, part 2. Remember that when support levels break, they usually turn into resistance levels. This concept of role reversal also applies to broken resistance levels which become support levels. These would have been good opportunities to take the I think I'll play it safe mode. Where do you place stop and pick targets with breakouts? One of the difficult things about taking breakout trades is picking a spot to place your stop. Unlike range trading, where you are looking for breaks of pivot point, support and resistance levels, you are looking for strong fast moves. Once a level breaks, in theory, that level will likely become support turned resistance or resistance turned support. Again, this is called a role reversal since the roles have been reversed. If you are going long and price broke R1, you could place your stop just below R1. Let's go back to that Euro USD chart you see where you could place your stops. As for setting targets, you could typically aim for the next pivot point support or resistance level as you take profit point. It's very rare that price will break past all the pivot point levels unless a big economic event or surprise news comes out. Let's go back to that Euro USD chart to see where you could put those stops and take profit. In this example, once you saw price break R1, you would have set your stop just below R1. If you believed that price would continue to raise, you could keep your position and move your stop manually to see if the move could continue. As with any other method or indicator, you have to be aware of the risks which taking breakout trades. First of all, you have no idea whether or not the move will continue. You might enter thinking the price will continue to raise, but instead you catch a top bottom which means that you are being faked out. Second, you won't be sure if it's a true breakout or just wild moves caused by the reversal or the release of important news. Spikes in volatility are a common occurrence during news events. So be sure to keep up with breaking news and be aware of what's on the economic calendar for the day or the week. Lastly, just like in range trading, it would be best to pop on other key support and resistance levels. You might be thinking that R1 is breaking, but you failed to notice a strong resistance level just past R1. Price may break past R1, test the resistance and just fall back. You should make sure that the knowledge that you have in Forex for support and resistance, candlestick patterns and momentum indicators to help you give stronger signals as to whether the break is for real or not. That's all for today. Let's catch up in the next video with more interesting content. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.